Okay, so here are the uh, Unique Toys Sharkies, or Sharkicons, whatever they're called, and kind of same thing as the uh, Eye Gear ones. Didn't really feel like they needed it, but I don't know, couldn't help myself. So as you can see, pretty basic gray, purple, blue sort of uh, situation. So let's see what we can do. There they are, labeled up, and meh. Uh, I didn't use a lot of them, so that might be part of it. Like, this is a little too G1 for me, a G1 toy. And then, like, some of this stuff that like, goes under the eyes, and that's not really for me. So I just kind of use the middle bits, um, which give, like, a different color down the sides, and then uh, this little accent there, and then the little yellow triangle there to cover up that gold paint, which I wasn't a fan of. Um, but, yeah, uh, not necessary. Uh, nothing really wows you. It's okay. It's it's you know it's it's goes on well and all that kind of stuff, but nothing to really write home about, if you will. And I think that the Sharktacons like antennas and tails falling apart of me, and the these pieces on the side of the hips coming out um, also kind of turned me off a bit while doing this set. But oh well, that's not really the sticker's fault. Um, if you're into having a whole bunch of colors and stuff on your on your sharks and there is a lot more options and you know you'll probably be satisfied but for me probably could have passed on this set I just felt like after I did the eye gear ones that these would look a little plain and I think I was right about that but it's kind of a vicious cycle right where you gotta get one because you got the other now you know I love me some feral rex uh, but my one complaint about feral rex was that there wasn't a lot of paint it could have used some paint and if had it had some paint I think it could have been maybe perfect but there was just a lot of like there's so much line work and so much detail and all this stuff and just not a ton of paint on them um, they do some they do a great job with you know the different color plastics to break up the colors um, but if it had that little extra TLC I think it would have pushed the set over the edge so that being said let's get them labeled up and take a look at them so there he is stickered up and I don't know uh, I, I like what I used um, and I'll show you that. I, I put the silver one there, the Decepticon symbol, obviously, the red bits there. This one on the nose, it doesn't fit right, so I cut a piece of it off and it tore a bit, so I gotta touch that up. Uh, these black ones here, which are actually my favorite, um, I just like the way they break that up. So I use those, and then I use this uh, silver one across the top here, and then these, these tips of the barrels, and then the side pieces. These are the ones I didn't use. I'm not a big fan of putting stickers on knives and swords and so forth. So that's the only one I didn't use out of that. And then on this one, I, I just couldn't bring myself to do these. Like, it just looked too cartoony. They're supposed to go on the side panels here and there. And I, I just, I couldn't bring myself to do it. And then these two go on these pouches. And I, I'm not a big fan of the way that was shaping up either. So I didn't use those. It's a $10 set. And to be honest with you, the Decepticon symbol and these black ones are really the pride and joy. And then I think that this will look really sharp on, you know, Feral Rex once it's all said and done. So it's $10 for two, four, five, six stickers. Meh. Not my favorite set in the world. I would have liked if they would have broken up some of this orange. And I like the really simple stuff. Just a little black accent, stuff like that, that just, that just really you know, breaks the color up. It doesn't need to be fancy, like all these little parts in here, they could have put little line work and stuff. That's the kind of stuff I like, but whatever. And here's Fortis or Bovis, which everyone's the opposite, headstrong. And I kind of feel like he needed it to a lesser extent, just because there's a, a bigger breakup in contrast between the black and the yellow. But, you know, there is an awful lot of red and stuff, and and things of that nature and you know obviously I gotta have the feet match so if you get one you're kind of forced into getting the other if you're gonna utilize this bit because otherwise it would look absurd right like it would look like your, your parents bought you two different pairs of sneakers or something it would, 
would just be unfortunate. So let's uh, get him stickered up and take a look. Okay, and there he is. And I, once again, I didn't use much for this set. Match it up now in the, the tips here. I also put those on. Uh, they bother me on the bot, but they don't really bother me in this mode. I mean, on the foot, so... I went ahead and threw them on. Pardon me, my nose is running like a sieve. It happened during the, the tantrum one. Like, I was just, I was upstairs, and I sat down for two seconds, and my, my nose just started running, so I guess I'm getting sick. Uh, it's nice that they give you the option here if you want to use this bit of business or that one. I use that one. I like the more minimalistic kind of feel, and I'm not crazy about these. I'm just not crazy about these all over the bot, so... I debated whether or not to use these on the knees, which is where these go, and then all these go on the arms. It's just, it's just, too, it's just a bit too much. I just couldn't do it. And then I obviously didn't use the one for the weapons, and I didn't use these because that wouldn't match the one I have. So what I did use was this Decepticon symbol here, that little red sticker there. Told you I love stuff like that. An another set of the black breakups there on the, on the calves, and uh, I believe that that is it. And this was a $14 set, so this one, this one hurt a little bit. Um, this one wasn't as user friendly as, in in that sense, I didn't get as much bang for my buck. But I think that with this on the finished Feral Rex, it will make a big difference. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't know it was sticker day. I would go get mine. They're not. They're, they're not stickers. They're. Whatever, go get them. Okay, so you know, and if you don't know, I'll now tell you at the end of these videos, I like to do just a simple symbol placement and show you what size symbol I used. Just in case it's helpful to anyone. And they go by fairly quickly. So here we go. So real quick, I went with the third row. Uh, you could probably get the fourth row out of it. Um, I just felt like it was a bit overkill. But that's what I went with. And for Utopia, uh, with Utopia, I went with the big boy. Uh, bottom row, and I, f I probably could have gone one size smaller, I just feel like with a bot like this you want to make an, uh, a statement. I could have also gone with the translucent, you know, Autobot, Autobot, Autobot decal that doesn't have the white outline, but I feel like the white outline kind of ties back to the, the general aesthetic of the figure, so I'm, I, the white outline is the choice that I made to go with. Individual results may, uh, may vary. <laughs> And lastly, invisible. Uh, this guy has tons of issues, but paint is not one of them. So I'm not sure if Ripper Labels is going to do a set, but I don't really feel like he needs it. I'll use the smallest one and fits in there pretty perfectly. And I think he's good to go. Back to the shelf. Um, I got another one of these coming soon because this one took me a long time to get done just because all the stuff I've been backed up with. Uh, Hasbro's Brainstorm is in there and um, Make Toy Swerve. There's some good stuff in that one. So that'll, that'll be coming along one day, but that's next. So, uh, yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.